What's going on there guys? We back with another one and today I want to talk about Keyshawn Johnson and what he said to Skip Bayless prior to taking that job. You know there was a lot of heat around Undisputed this time last year. Him and Shannon Sharp uh, going at it and everything but Shannon has ascended in a way that no one could have predicted. We knew Shannon Sharp was big in the media space but we didn't know that he could wear so many hats. You know with Club Shay Shay, Nightcap, uh, we knew he could do first take, but you arguably watch Shannon Sharp more for what he has going on outside of first take than what he has going on on ESPN. You know, that's less, a lot of times that's less views than he's getting on his YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? So he is blown up, but Keyshawn Johnson seeing all of that, uh, he explained his relationship with Skip Bayless, how to meet and went, and how he laid out the conditions of his employment and him working with Skip on Undisputed, what that would look like and what that would have to entail uh, for that to be a long-standing partnership. And um, he pointed out a few things, you know, about Skip's appearance and the way he talks and how it's viewed amongst people of color, you know, looking at it and, and really analyzing Skip's intentions. Because he's trolled LeBron James. He, he's trolled a lot of people. Um, but he, you could say he's trolled Aaron Rodgers like that. He's controlled. I mean, he's uh, trolled several other top-notch people. And he'll praise someone like Tim Tebow as if they are elite. Or Baker Mayfield, them guys. He'll, he'll hold them to the highest esteem. But look at clear-cut Hall of Famers uh, and really talk down on them. So that's been a knock against Skip. But we're going to take a look at what Keyshawn actually had to say about his relationship with Skip. Misunderstood by some, uh, uh, respected in this space for for the, for his longevity in this space. What do you think is something, getting a chance to work with him now, that is is a misconception or, or, or people may not get about Skip Bayless? Man, you know, I, I when I first took the job, Matt and Jack, people was like, Keyshawn gonna kill that dude. But th because they don't know me. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? They, I can work with anybody. I walk in, work with anybody any given day at all. I but, said that. I was one of them. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> see, see, because he, because Jack I'm, know me differently. Too real. You know what I'm saying? But I also understand my paper. Yeah. You see yeah, what I'm saying? I'm not supposed yeah. to let somebody fuck my money off with no stupid, silly shit. This right. shit is entertainment. It's fun. That's all it is. It ain't personal. Right. Ain't nothing personal. So to answer your question, you know, it's fun working with him. The man is a wealth of knowledge. He's been around for a long time. Um, but I think what people see in him is, is a 70-plus-year-old white man with blonde hair. And in the world that we live in, that's what we see, especially as black folk. We see that and we go, okay, it's a white dude who's talking reckless about athletes all the time. But that's not true. You see what I'm saying? He ain't like that. Nah, but people's like that. minds, then the, the stuff happened with Shannon. So it really went crazy. Mm -hmm. Everybody automatically assumed, oh, this dude, he just wanted to get rid of Shannon. And Everybody that don't know Skip. Don't, don't know Skip. Yeah. And don't know how it went down the way it went because they're not in the building. Right. They don't get all the information. You see what I'm saying? Once I got, because you know me, I'm going to ask. We've been in the building, so <laughs> yeah, we know. I'm gonna, Matt, I'm going to ask. What the fuck happened? Tell me, <laughs> tell me the truth. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because I got to work with you. Yeah. I need to know the truth. Yeah. I need to know what's happening at all points and times. Like I told him when I first sat down with him, I said, look, man, check this out. We sat in the backyard, nice, out here in California, out at the beach. It was beautiful. Can't we, beat it. You can't beat it. Ain't Atlanta, you know. <laughs> it ain't all freezing. <laughs> I I airport, airport ain't closing. <laughs> Brown I mean, I grass. Come to think of it, I don't know the last time LAX closed down. Ever. Yeah. I, that, that I know of. Ever. Yeah, but Atlanta, every time I start, from, <laughs> can't get out of Atlanta. But anyway, <laughs> when I sat down with him, I said, man, this, this, for me, there's only a couple things in my criteria working with anybody is I don't need no race, no racial bullshit at all, no homophobia, none at all. None. I don't need nothing slipping out, nobody's miles or nothing, and we good. If it ain't, if you, Simple. Because I don't care about my career. I don't care that you... You you poke fun in my career or whatever you may you may say that Terrell Owens was better. That's cool, good. He got better numbers. He played longer. I could combat all that. You see what I'm saying? As long as you don't say nothing out of pocket, we ain't got no problems. <laughs> so that's what Keyshawn laid out for Skip. You know, as terms and conditions for them. You know, to be able to work together and 
you know, the show has been going on. The views have been dropping. So lately they've added Paul Pierce to the show. And I think Paul Pierce may add a little spike in views just based off of what he may say about LeBron James on the show on a given day. Uh, but Skip hasn't really found the correct formula yet. You know, Keyshawn is not typical of a person that's sitting across from him, right? You look at Shannon Sharp, you look at Stephen A. Smith, both guys are animated and they're very loud with the way that they speak. And, um, you know, Keyshawn is knowledgeable. You know, you can get the same knowledge. Uh, listen, Keyshawn taught football as you can, Shannon Sharp. But one thing I think that was hurting the show for a long time is they were trying to talk basketball with football players. And you just... For extended periods of time, you can't do that. Now, Shannon Sharp was an anomaly uh, in that regard because of the club, Shay Shay, his relationship with LeBron James, you know. And so that he had already kind of become the LeBron opposite skip, right? He's he's the guy that's going to defend LeBron to the ends of the earth. Even say, you know, he's the GOAT over Michael Jordan and everything, whereas Skip was 100% Michael Jordan. Um... Keyshawn loves LeBron, but it's not he, – he doesn't have that same appeal as far as uh, really being animated and articulating his point in that demonstrative way like a Shannon, like a, a Stephen A. Smith. So it hasn't worked up until this point, and I'm not necessarily saying uh, that Keyshawn needs to leave the show, but they do need to find the right mix of people that – you come to watch on the show every single day, right? Uh, they and, and stop, like he was grabbing Yellow Beezy. He was grabbing, you know, the the Little Wayne thing can stop. I know that's his boy, and Little Wayne did his intro and all that, but that's not, uh, you know, we we not going to that for that. It's not a concert, you know. It's uh, um, it's it's a sports show, so we we really want to hear people have good takes about what's going on in sports you know so it don't matter uh, that you're getting names you're gonna have to get uh real sports people he got the bubba dub gal in there one time i mean this is not I, I think skip has suffered more from just playing or, or trying to grab too many personalities his show needs to be more linear as far as who he's bringing in to talk about uh, different sports man and Keyshawn it looks like you know lately Keyshawn has been his main co-host you know it ain't as much Richard Sherman and uh Michael Irvin when I turn it on it's more just him and Key show uh so they may even have to go a different direction on what the show is I know at first you know with uh Colorado having that Fox Sports deal you had Deion Sanders coming on undisputed, making appearances on there. And that was kind of helping the show at first when, um, you know, when uh, Shannon first left, even though it wasn't never first take views, it was respectable for what it is. You know what I'm saying? But it has dropped. Maybe, you know, Colorado can help them out some this year, but you saw soon after uh, you had ESPN First Take going out there to Colorado and the, encroach on those views. So anything, any bottle of lightning that they may get, I think First Take is just going to come up under them and snatch it from them. Uh, but honestly, I like the way Keyshawn laid that out, you know, for Skip up front about the things you can and can't do. Um for him to be a successful partner for that whole thing to work because uh skip man he's on his last leg right now in media he's not like a guy that can go start an interesting podcast right now he's ostracized himself from players and nobody's really wanting to come on his show like that so this is the other side of the type of journalism that he does you're not going to be able to get the people that people want to see come on your platform and have a conversation where Shannon Sharp is the complete opposite. Um, 
you know, Keyshawn Johnson may could even do better starting his own platform and bringing in athletes and talking to them. To be honest with you, he may not need a job like that. You know, he could just go to YouTube and do pretty decent over there, in my opinion. But shoot, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.